Yeah. All right, here we go. Hello. <laughs> hey, everyone. So today I was thinking about this morning, like, what are we going to talk about today? And the thought came to me, we have not talked about anxiety and it's still Mental Health Awareness Month. May is, is that. And so I thought, you know, I've experienced a lot of anxiety in my life. And that's something that we definitely have something to say about. Um, I, yeah, like, I've lived so much of my life with so much anxiety. Did you see that bird? <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah, man. sat there and just took a dump right there right in front of us. he's like all right yeah um <laughs> <laughs> what's up world <laughs> so so i was thinking about an experience that i had <laughs> oh gosh whenever um i was younger well not that much younger I, my kids were older and stuff when i lived in broussard so this was probably 15 maybe 20 years ago I was on medication, like I've been prescribed medication for anxiety for years and I did not want to take medicine anymore because I, I struggle with medicine. I have a love-hate relationship with medicine. I just hate the side effects that it causes. And so, so one day I was, I was really worked up. I was in my, I can remember being in my kitchen and I was needing to cook dinner and I had stuff I'm sure that I needed to do with church and I had my kids and there was just a lot of stuff and the way my brain works sometimes is like everything is coming into my brain everything like in the future I'm thinking about the future and I'm thinking about the past and then I'm also thinking about all the people who like share all their stuff with me and I take on everybody's stuff and and so I'm thinking how can I help and fix and you know control everything around me and I can remember just having this like freak out moment in my kitchen feeling so overwhelmed my brain just it was too much I had so much anxiety and and I thought I knew at that point, like, I wasn't taking any medication, and, and I just had this feeling of, like, what is truly most important right now? I, I had, like, a, this moment of awareness of kind of, like, the present, just being in the present, like, how I live now most consistently. Um, it hit me then. It was just, like, what what is the most important thing? And the most important thing I, I think that I, I decided at that moment was just to cook, you know, cook a meal for my family and everything else, nothing else was as important. And, you know, just focusing on that one thing, it made everything else just kind of fall away, you know? And I think that that's, that we do that to ourselves. We get so wrapped up in so much. There's just so much in our minds that we feel is so important. And whenever we really just stop for a second and take a couple breaths and really realize, okay, what is most important just right this second? Then it just brings you into this present moment and, and everything falls away. So that was like a moment that I realized instead of turning to a pill, I could, I could change, I could shift something within my mind. And when I had that experience, I was like, I have more control over this anxiety and this overwhelm than I realized. And so that was like a big aha moment for me years ago that I could have a little more control over my anxiety than I realized. The anxiety sucks. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, I've I've experienced severe panic attacks uh, where I'm laid out in a yard, thinking I'm having a heart attack, and it's just a panic attack. And I've I do believe that it has to do with breathing, like you get so caught up in all that's going on, and you don't even realize it's been a minute if not two minutes or more that you've even inhaled or exhaled. Hmm. 
breathing is so important and that's what meditation teaches and that's what meditation does it gets you into a rhythmic flow of breathing uh, but even today I I I can sense whenever whenever I start feeling anxious if I stop and take a breath it goes away it really the breathing is just so important to be conscious of my breathing and to be conscious of what's going on because I really believe that my panic attacks that I've had in the past I mean I was ready to call 911 thinking I'm having a heart attack and then it's just start breathing get the breathing going on and it does it, it seems to just slowly go away but your body does have to get oxygen back and I don't know if it's the thinking about the past or the worrying about the future or just not being conscious of my breathing but meditation yoga pilates those kind of things they all focus on on your breathing mm -hmm. and at the end of a session of yoga I can lay down and take some of the deepest, best breaths that the anxiety is just completely gone. Um, when I pray at night, uh, my, my breathing just gets more, uh, those deep breaths, I, I just love them. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's, but worrying and getting out of the now and leaving the present and getting into the past and worrying about the future messes with my breathing and it definitely causes anxiety mm -hmm. if I'm at peace with what I'm doing right now then the anxiety just kind of goes away mm -hmm. yeah I've had anxiety for most of my life just like I get anxious about going places, going, being around people. Um, just, I think a lot of it too, it, it's like judgment. There's some judgment in there with ourselves. Um, you know, we get anxious about what people are going to think, get anxious about other people. Um, what else? Yeah, anxiety. When it you get put like on, it comes from so much. when you get put on anxiety medication, first off, that is a to get off of anxiety medication. Yeah, it's the worst. I mean, if I just had one pill in the bottle, I'm not gonna have anxiety because I know that I've got it out. I've got a way to not feel anxiety, and that's part of that sickness. Uh, it's anxiety is yeah just... and I think I've been on all of them like <laughs> Klonopin Ativan Klonopin Ativan Valium yeah um, Xanax Xanax yeah yeah I've I've used every single one of them and they do help you know they they help calm something they stop something but then they have so many side effects. They and you have so to many increase the dose. Mm -hmm. they, they lose the ability to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody yeah. that's been on any type of anti-anxiety medication knows that it just stops working. Right. So you have to increase your dose and do more and do more. And you're never getting to the root of the problem. Right. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's, it's just pushing it down mm -hmm. how can I push down what the underlying issue is and I'm guilty of that I mean I've I got prescribed to anxiety medication since, since uh, 2002 or 3 and I mean it, that's not the first time I took it you know high school or whatever but uh, it's that is just a losing battle yeah, it is. It's not a way to live. Mm -mm. It's really not. It's it, it's using all these tools that we're learning, you know, with, with yoga, with meditation, breathing, with just getting present. And 
going to your spiritual place. I mm-hmm. mean, is it nature? Is there a cathedral that you like to go to? A temple? Whatever, whatever it is that you can find peace, make that part of a routine. You know, routine is so important. If you struggle with anxiety, uh, I get these wonderful breaths when we do this. I, I've said it many times on here. I do. I just, I'm able to breathe. Uh, going to support groups helped me a ton with anxiety. Uh, going and working out, exercise. It's, uh, I can say that when I'm, when I'm at a bigger size, my anxiety is is higher because hmm. my blood pressure is higher. Uh, when I sleep, it has to do with the amount of of muscle or whatever that's around my lungs and around my neck. I mean, uh, anxiety. Your weight has a lot to do with your blood pressure and anxiety. I mean, being healthy and living a healthy lifestyle it definitely can change the amount of anxiety that I feel in my life. I have so much to be anxious about if I go there. I mean, I really do. But I can, I can stay in the present moment and be here now. Today has been a beautiful day, and it has just, I do, I have a lot to be anxious about, but I, I haven't been. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I can feel anxiety, but I do know how to deal with it. I do know how to breathe, and I do know how to, to do things to work with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, learning whenever I had that experience and I was able to bring myself to a place of calm. When I had that experience, like it totally changed how I I felt about anxiety and the control that I have within myself to, to be able to get myself to a place where I don't have to depend on pills. I don't have to depend on doctors and, and outside stuff. It's all so much. It's all in our head. You know, I mean, it really is. We we just get stuck in worrying. We work ourselves up. We work ourselves up to a panic attack. We feel like everything is on us and we have to do everything by ourselves. And yeah. we have to, you know, and it's just, it's just not true. Yeah. It's just... I think, you know, society is so rushed. Like, everything is just so fast-paced. It's like, now, 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 now. And it's just, no, you know. (laughs) Just chill. Just chill. Like, we could just chill. Nothing is that urgent. I mean, unless I have to be in the ER or there's a fire, you know. Like, it's really is all good. And we just work ourselves up to to that point. and, And it's so unhealthy. Today, like, I don't have anxiety anymore like I used to and if I do start to like you said like start to feel kind of anxious about something I recognize it and I recognize it's my head I recognize it it's my thinking and I'm able to bring myself out of it yeah if you do take anxiety medication don't cold turkey oh my gosh (laughs) the two things that can kill you out of all drugs Nothing's going to kill you except for cold turkey and alcohol and cold turkey and Xanax. Those are the two that will kill you. And I did it. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't die. (laughs) I've uh, I've had an epileptic seizure before from just cold turkey and a couple times actually. Um, I've I've had some, a couple very bad seizures. I had one, uh, it was about 13 months ago now. Mm -hmm. Um, right before I went to the hospital, but I had a seizure that I didn't think I was ever going to come out of it. All of my muscles, my hands were twisted, and I mean, I literally had like a full-blown grand mal seizure, and I thought I was going to die. That's cold turkey and off of that. If you take anxiety medication, is cool. I mean, uh, just don't cold turkey off of that because it can kill you. Yeah. But, um... It's not the answer. It's not the answer. The answer is to seek to seek something 
seek something higher than than ourselves you know uh, the breathing techniques and all that we've talked about it's these are all things that can help move us away from anxiety uh, if you do if you've had panic attacks before I get it to have that in your medicine cabinet just in case that's almost enough to keep you from having a panic attack it really is just to know that you have that there in case you start having one it's almost like that's the solution but uh, it's not something that I want to rely on mm -hmm. I, I know that there are other ways to not have have that in my life to not to not have those freak outs and just I mean it's just not the way to live it's not the way to live it's mm -hmm. it, there's just so much there's so many ways to just be at peace and it's a process definitely I mean it really is it just yeah. it takes time it's not like oh I me saying all these things <laughs> I'm talking I mean, to myself right yeah exactly I mean this is like taking me years to get to this point that I am you know um like if you, if you do take medication and you want to to try to get off of it then you know get these things in place first you know learn the breathing learn the meditation learn you know do yoga do do the things consistently to get yourself in a place where then you can start to wean off of the medication and you know don't like he said don't cold turkey it like mm. split it in half and then a fourth and then you know i mean just do it as do your it doctor smart. helps you do it yeah exactly because mm. i mean i've so many times i've just cold turkeyed off of everything that i've ever been on because mm. the way my brain i'm such an extremist and i just i'm either on it or i'm off of it like there is no gray it's all or nothing yeah and it's it's not good. It's really not healthy because, because I would quit cold turkey and not have the skills. I would not have the the knowledge to to help myself. And so then I would be off of it cold turkey for a little while, and then I would still need it. I would still have anxiety. I would still have the problem. But you flushed it all down the toilet, right? Exactly. Uh, benzodiazepines are some of the more dangerous drugs to come off of so just be patient um yeah talk with your doctor but it, it's that's what that's what me and kelly are doing here it's not about telling people don't do this mm. or don't do that it's there are solutions other than medications there are solutions other than drugs there are solutions out there to bring peace within our body to bring health within our body and we don't have to rely on external substances to bring that peace into our life it's just not necessary living healthy living mentally healthy and i mean you want to talk about a whole shift on anxiety being honest, and I say this almost every time about honesty, but being honest, anxiety's, I mean, it goes way down. And once you tell the truth, I mean, there's just a bottle of peace that just opens up, that you're just free from so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I, I don't have to live with anxiety in my life today. Um, even with all that I'm going through, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect or anything, but I, I have a lot of tools that I'm able to work with that I'm able to go to instead of constantly going to the bottle, mm -hmm. whether it's the alcohol or whatever a person uses to get rid of that overwhelming feeling. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Mm-mm. Yeah, so much control. We just want to control stuff so bad, and it just makes us like, ugh. Yeah, give it away. <laughs> yeah, give it away. Yeah, that's what it is. Just surrendering it. Just surrendering. Man, it's just made such a huge difference in my life. Yeah, it has. Anxiety so is not fun to live with, and mm -hmm. you don't have to be stuck there. 
I lived there many years thinking that the only solution was was in the bottle and it's uh, there is a way out mm-hmm. and uh, we don't have to live there anymore mm-hmm. mental health is beautiful today yeah, has is. been a great day and I am so grateful for all that I've been blessed with love you guys it's uh, summer's here it's coming and it's getting warm so there's so much to be grateful for there's so much to be happy about in this life and uh, worrying about the past worrying about the future having regret about the past slow down take a deep breath be grateful find things to be grateful for yeah get those tools in your toolbox consistently yeah it's all good it is. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye y'all.